A common phrase around the world of motivational speaking and personal development is, it's not what happens to you, it's how you handle it that determines your success. So what does that look like? Well, today I have a very, very specific example that will help you to illustrate the point about sometimes things happen to you that's no fault of your own, and you have one of two ways that you could handle it. You could go down the road of self-pity, or you can turn it into eventual blessing for you in your life. So this is a story about a man who, when he was a baby, he was born with a birthmark right at the corner of his eye. And in fact, his parents said it looked like someone had put um, their cigarette out on his face. And the doctors were worried that eventually that birth um, that birthmark could affect his eyesight. So they went through a very long process of lasering that area to remove the birthmark. So every two or three months, his parents took him to the hospital to have it lasered off. And then one time they forgot to put the anesthetic cream to numb the area before it was lasered. And he said it was his very first memory of this excruciating pain of having something lasered off his face without any anesthetic or numbing cream. And it was that day that he became a stutterer. And years later, uh, he was a big fan of music and he was a fan of the rapper Eminem. He bought the LP and he memorized that song Slim Shady he memorized it from front to back. And what happened was, is learning that rap song with the really fast lyrics, it helped him overcome his stuttering. So it became a huge blessing. Now, that's not the end of the story. The end of the story is eventually when Eminem was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, he invited this man to come up on stage and sing that song with him. And yes, I am talking about Ed Sheeran. So it was Ed Sheeran that was born with that birth that birthmark on his face. And he, for five years, he had to have it lasered off. And he'll never forget that one time when they forgot to put the anesthetic cream on his face. So that is an example of something that, you know, it was no fault of his that this happened to him, but he turned it into a massive blessing. So think of it the next time something happens to you and you have two choices. You can go down that road of self-pity and questioning why me, why did this happen to me? Or you can find a way to react to it, respond to it in a way that could be more positive and eventually turn into a massive blessing. Have a great Front Row Friday, everybody. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.